What's up guys, Matt here, and I am coming uh, to you guys today with a very special video, a much different type of video than you guys are normally used to seeing from me. Um, if you're new to the channel, again, my name is Matt. I am a full-time eBay reseller, and usually I put out videos like what's sold on eBay. Sometimes I do videos where I buy storage units, and I show you guys what I find in the storage units, um, things like that. But today's video will be very, very different from that. Um, I wanted to put together a video for you guys just kind of going over what I think are the pros and the cons to um, reselling on eBay. Now this is strictly eBay. This does not include Amazon, Poshmark, any of the other selling platforms that you can sell on. This is strictly eBay and I will say and I will reiter re reiterate this at the end of the video um, these are these are my views only. This is only from my experience. These are only my opinions. Um, if you're a reseller, you may have a completely different, um, you know, the journey that you've had so far, the experiences you've had so far could be completely different than than my experiences. So these pros and cons are strictly from what I've experienced myself. Like I said, I am a full-time uh, eBay reseller. I guess a little backstory. Um, I began reselling about four, a little over four months now, so we're about four months and one week into reselling. Before I started on eBay, I had never sold anything online. I'd never bought anything online from eBay. I knew nothing about eBay. So if you're a new or you're thinking about getting into eBay, it is very, very doable for you because I can tell you somebody who has never sold anything online, had zero experience, was able to uh, make the transition to become a full-time uh, eBay reseller. So in these four months, we've we've hit a lot of milestones. I'm now I'm a top-rated seller on eBay, which I'm extremely proud of. Um, you know, have about 300 listings. I have a store, eBay store. I have about 300, a little over 300 listings on my store. So every day, we're you know I'm increasing those. I've got to the point where I was so busy, I had to. Uh, hire an employee which is my sister so my sister comes over once a once a week and um, does some listings and stuff for me test stuff cleans things uh, just things like that to help me uh, get rid of my death pile I have a pretty decent sized death pile but without further ado now I want to tell you again these are just my views these are just what I think are pros and cons to eBay there are a lot of pros to eBay I will say that I have six pros here and I only have one con so far this is what I've experienced so far in eBay so six pros and one con but I will say that one con is in my opinion a very very big con to eBay but without further ado let's start with the pros number one the biggest pro of being an eBay reseller in my opinion is you get to be your own boss which is awesome by the way I got some notes I want to take it I've got some notes here so I don't forget uh, my talking points, but the biggest pro for me is I get to be my own boss. Um, I work when I want. I can take time off when I want. If I want to go on, you know, a vacation, I don't have to put in and hope that it gets approved. And you know, so so I get to you know do you know basically do what I want. I, I'm I'm policing myself. Now that brings me to you have to be accountable for yourself. So if it's you know the, the I guess the hardest part for me every day is is getting up every day. I wake up early in the morning hit the thrift stores pretty hard early do all my shipping I hit I go to the post office twice a day I go early in the morning before I go to the thrift store and then if I sell anything from the time I leave my house to 4 p.m. EST then I take I come back home I sh uh, pack that stuff up and I ship that out same day and that really helps me I have one day uh, business uh, handling like one day handling time um, but some things go out earlier than one day because I take that second trip to the post office and the post off my local post office is like right down the street from my favorite thrift store so it's definitely extra motivation to go out again because there's plenty of times I've gone to that same thrift store twice a day and walked out with tons of great stuff both times so not only do I get to help the customer help my customer out and get it there earlier which means a, a chance for positive feedback saying you know really fast shipping I can't believe it it got here so quickly uh, but I also have another another chance to source to find stuff. So love that I get to be my own boss, make my own rules, do things that the way that I want to do them. You know, run my business. Like this is my business. I, I run it the way that I feel like it should be run. So that to me is the biggest pro. I no longer have to. I'm not someone who struggles with authority at all. 
But I like the fact that I don't have to report to somebody or follow someone else's rules that, you know, has has never worked in the position you've worked in or, you know, some suit somewhere in a, you know, fancy corner office overlooking New York City is making rules for me here in Cincinnati. doesn't make much sense to me. So I like that as my own boss, I get to do, I you know, I do whatever I want to do and I make the rules the way I want to make them. So number one pro, big, big pro, I get to be my own boss. Number two. I make good money on eBay. This is by far the most money I've ever made uh, in my life at a, at a job now. I do have a degree in surgical technology. Before um, I became an eBay reseller full-time, I worked at hospitals uh, for four or five years um, in surgery. I, a surgical technologist is basically a surgeon's assistant. So I made decent money. Um, have a college degree, like I said. Made decent money. But here's here's the pro, here's here's the the good thing about what eBay is. Like I said, you can make good money, and the cool thing is is the the harder you work, the more you work, you you see dividends from that. The more you go out and source, the more you list, the more you time you spend on eBay, and your business, you will see dividends from that. You will see immediate returns from that, and those returns don't go to somebody else. I mean, you pay your eBay fees, which are crazy sometimes. You pay your PayPal fees. You pay your shipping. You know, you got to pay for your overhead, your ship, you know, your your packing supplies and all that stuff. But once you get, you know, the profit of your business goes to you. You don't have to give that profit to somebody else and then they give you a part of it back, you know. Like in the real world where you bust your butt for a whole year and then after a year you get a raise. You know what I mean? Oh, here's 50 cent raise. Here's a dollar raise. You've worked hard all year long. You get a dollar raise, you know. It just... I like the fact that the harder I work, the more money I'll make, and I get to see those profits coming right back to me, not to somebody else. So that's very, very good. I think the only, the only, you know, what I've always thought is I can, I don't have a number in my head like how much I want to make or how much, you know, I always set goals for myself every month, but I know that those goals really could be anything I want them to be because I know if I put time into it, and I, you know, like I said, the more time I put into it, the more money I'm going to make. The only limiting, limiting factor of this is, can you find enough stuff to sell? And I've found sometimes that's difficult, you know. I can only sell as much as I can find. But as much as I can find, I can sell. I know I can sell it. So um, that's number two pro. Make good money. I make great money on eBay. Like I said, the most I've ever made in my life working. So um, that's always good. <clears throat> now, number three, the cool th thing about uh, working on eBay, being an eBay reseller, is you get to learn about cool stuff, right? I get to learn about all different kinds of categories that I never knew anything about before. And what do I mean by this? So my, I guess my niche in eBay is like video games, toys, board games, things like that. These are things I know some about. I don't definitely not an expert in any of those, but I do know about these things, right? But working for eBay, being an eBay reseller, I've been able to um, increase how much stuff I know about just about everything, about clothes and shoes. And one thing I wrote down here, breast pumps. I'm, I've sold so many breast pumps on eBay, knew absolutely nothing about breast pumps before I started working on eBay. So like I said, you get to learn, you know, maybe your thing is clothes and jewelry, but you don't, you know, you don't know anything about video games or toys or anything like that, collectibles, things like that. But working for eBay, you're going to learn about all these different things. And if you want to, you know, like continue to grow your business on eBay and sell more, you have to learn about all these different categories. And for me, that's, you know, it takes time. It definitely takes time. Like I said, I've only been doing this four months, but every day I'm trying to increase the categories that I sell in. Now, for instance, I like I said, sell a bunch of video games, toys, electronics, things like that. I don't sell a whole lot of shoes or clothes or jewelry or anything like that, watches, anything, anything like that. But every day I'm trying to learn about these things. And the reason I don't sell these things is because I really don't know that much about it. But thankfully, we have a, a special place called YouTube where there's tons of awesome content creators where if I want to learn about clothes I can go find a youtuber who resells on eBay and just sells clothes and they can tell me everything I need to know about clothes all I have to do is watch their videos shoes jewelry there's tons of great content creators and that's exactly how I got started on eBay like I said I had never 
sold anything online ever. I really didn't really buy anything online either. How I got started into this was I was wanting to um, basically collect video game stuff. So I was going to yard sales and and not really finding anything, but I was watching people on YouTube who were going to yard sales and they weren't not only just finding video game stuff, but they were finding other stuff to sell on eBay and they kept saying it, oh, you know, I know this isn't a video game, guys, but I'm buying this to sell on eBay so that I can spend some of that money on a video game collection. That's how I got into eBay was I was thinking, and the light bulb was just like, wow, I, I see all kinds of stuff out at the yard sale that I think would sell, but I never buy it because it's not video game related. Maybe I'll try to do this. And that's basically how I started eBay. And the other thing I did was I watched a video. I don't remember. It was four months ago, so I don't remember what video it was. But they were saying, if you want to start on eBay, here's how you do it. Go around your house. Find 10 things that you want to sell online. You don't have to put any money into eBay whatsoever. Find 10 things that you can sell on eBay. Sell those 10 things and see how it goes. See how you like it. See if you actually sell anything. So that's what I did. I walked around my house. Found stuff that I wasn't using or hadn't used in a long time, things that were unopened that we never used, me and my wife, put those things on eBay and sold stuff. And I was like, wow, this is really gonna work. So I started to going, you know, going, like I said, going to the yard sales, thrift stores. Now I do online auctions. I do storage lockers. I, you know, I do lots of different ways of sourcing. So, <clears throat> so that's the cool thing is I got to learn about all kinds of different categories and things that I would, would have, no, wouldn't have known or really had an interest in knowing before I started eBay. So that's very cool. Uh, number four, the the four uh, best pro I think of, of selling on eBay is um, it's like a treasure hunt. It really honestly is. Um, when you go out there and you find something when you're at the thrift store, like the other day I found a Sony um, a Sony Walkman that was still in its packaging and I saw it I was like wow man this thing is cool I can't believe this I often say this in my head I cannot believe this is at the thrift store like it makes no sense why is this here and I, I often think about the journey this item took to get to the store shelves of the thrift store so it's like a treasure hunt and when you do find something cool that's worth a lot of money and you pay very little for it you, it kind of you kind of get a, a rush from that it's 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 awesome so um, it's like it's like a treasure hunt. I also get to see a lot of stuff from my childhood things like toys and games and stuff that I played my child played with my childhood. Um, I get to I get to find that stuff again and and sell it to somebody else. So that's you know like I said it's like a childhood uh, treasure hunt. You you know you get to rehash old memories of you know back in the day when you had these toys or, or games or maybe it, for you it was shoes or clothes or something. So it is like. A one big treasure hunt. You go out every day. You get to go shopping every day. I mean, so it's it's not a bad a bad gig whatsoever. So number five, it's fun to sell stuff. It really is like it kind of you know piggybacking from it being a treasure hunt. Like I said, when you find something for cheap and you sell, you actually sell it for a lot. It's fun. That's a fun thing to do. Um, but I will say that this is kind of the funness of selling is one of the con is the part of the con so keep that in mind when we move to the con i will explain that more uh later but it is it is fun to sell stuff and number six uh you meet fun and interesting people while you're out sourcing so when you're at the thrift stores when you're at yard sales and stuff you'll just naturally you just talk to people you know you're you're shoulder to shoulder with them at the thrift store you know, I, all the time I ask, like, if someone's looking at something and I can tell they know what, what it is, I'll ask them, hey, man, what is that? And they'll, more than more than likely or not, they're happy to just tell me exactly what it is, um, you know, share their knowledge with you. So this, this is a good thing. And for me, this might seem a little weird, <clears throat> but I'm kind of socially awkward. I would say it's not really, um, I don't really, like, go out and talk to people before I started eBay. I wouldn't go to, you know, and talk to people or anything like that. I'm kind of in a, in a shell. Unless I know you, I really don't, I'm not someone who's going to strike up a conversation if I don't know you. So what eBay has done for me is kind of brought me out of my shell, I would say, because when you go to yard sales, I remember when I first started this, and I was going to yard sales. I was so nervous. Like I would drive to someone's yard sale and it seems stupid. But honestly, someone who has like social anxieties and stuff, it's it's hard to walk up to somebody's house 
and start. I always felt like they were all, everyone was staring. So stupid. I always felt like that everyone's staring at me, you know? Like, every time if I pick something up, they're going to be like, what are you doing with that? You know what I mean? Like, so eBay has really brought me out of my shell. Like I said, I go to thrift stores all the time. I talk to the people. You know, I, I talk to other resellers at the thrift stores when I go to yard sales now. I walk up. I say, hey, how are you guys doing? Good morning. You know, great to see you guys. You know, so it's definitely brought me out of my shell uh, socially, I would say. So that's very cool. Uh, you get to meet cool people at thrift stores and yard sales. And like I said, you just meet fun people and you get to share interesting stories and stuff. So now, those were the six pros to selling on eBay. Like I said, these are just pros from my perspective, what I've experienced so far. Now, the one con for selling on eBay, the one con, and like I said, <clears throat> this is a big, big con for me. This is a big con. For me, it's returns. And basically, as a seller, I feel helpless, to be honest. What do I mean by this? So, when someone returns something, if it's legitimately broken, because things happen. So, you you know, you do your best to, to package these things. You obviously, you know, I obviously test everything if it's electronic. You do your best to, to, to package these things up so they don't get damaged in transit. But things happen, right? Things get broken. It is what it is. And I understand these returns, right? So, if, if someone sends me a picture, like, for instance, I had an Xbox 360, that got damaged while it was in transit. They sent me a message that said, hey man, I received this today. It was completely broken. They sent me some pictures and I didn't even think twice about it. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, obviously you send the message, hey, sorry about that. It's unfortunate, you know, you apologize. I refund the money immediately. You know, hey, here's your money. Sorry about that, you know, and hope, you know, that that's the end of it, right? And again, I don't think twice about these kind of returns. It's the returns that you get where you know the item. Like, like for instance, they, they put in the return, and I'm going to show you guys an example. So they put in the return. You go, okay, send me the item back, and you get it back, and it's perfectly fine. Okay? <clears throat> so I've happened, had this happen a couple times on, on a couple of occasions. One was a DVD-VCR combo. It was like a $150 DVD-VCR combo. I sent it to them. They said it was broken, completely broken when they got it. I said, okay, cool. Sorry about that. You know, send it back to me. I got it back and it was not broken at all. Okay. So it wasn't broken at all. And I was like, okay. Now I didn't really, you know, I, it, I felt, it felt like a, you know, I felt cheated a little bit, but you know, I called eBay, talked to them about it. They refunded my shipping and the thing was, is I could resell this DVD VCR combo for the same price that I sold it to before. So really, I was just out time. You know what I mean? It just kind of wasted my time. But it happens. Buyers get buyer's remorse, make up a story, and then try to return the item. And it happens. I understand this. But the thing about this particular situation was, I was able to resell the item for the same amount that I sold it before. So that's a huge thing. Now, my example is this. And I will show you guys this. So I, this is a Sony. I just had this return a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. This is a Sony um, CD Walkman. Now, when I sold this, this was brand new. And here's the packaging for it. So it was still in the packaging. This was brand new, right? Never been opened, okay? Send the guy, buy, buys, buys this. This is $100. This was 100 bucks. So I sold this for $100 plus shipping. Um, sold this to a guy. He gets it and he puts in a return. And here's how I here's how a red flag for me on returns is if this you know I've had obviously had plenty of returns. You know I sell a, a large volume on eBay, and usually when I get a return, if the item really is broken, it's usually like a someone writes like three four sentences. It's like a paragraph of what's wrong with the item, right? This particular return was just like a few words. Item doesn't work. Is exactly what it said. So. I reached out to the guy, I, I messaged him, I said, hey, you know, I'm sorry that you're having some issues with the item, can you tell me what's not working about the item? You know, maybe I can help you, if it's something troubleshooting wise, maybe Sony, can you can call the Sony customer support line, they can help you troubleshoot, you know, what's going on, you know, maybe I can help you. Before let's before we get into a return, let's try to help the person out the best we can, because really, as sellers, this is our only defense, okay? 
Our only defense to our return is to hopefully fix the problem here or have whatever company the product is for help them fix the item. And this, is how, this has worked for me in the past. A guy ordered a webcam. He couldn't get it to work for his computer. He was blaming me for this. I said, hey, how about we start with you calling, you know, the webcam people, figure out, you know, maybe they can help you, you know, obviously it was a software issue with his computer. Maybe they can help you figure out how to get the software to work. Sure enough, he did, and he got it to work, and he called, you know, messaged me back, hey, man, I'm really sorry. This does work. I don't want to do a return. He canceled the return. So I messaged this guy about the CD player, and I say, you know, same kind of spiel, you know, let's let's try to figure this out. A couple days later, he sends back, the disc keeps spinning. He sends a message, the disc keeps spinning. I want my money back. That's all he says. So at this point, I can tell this guy obviously doesn't want to talk or like try to communicate and figure out what's going on. He just wants his money back. That's it. So I was very curious about this because I, I had a feeling there really wasn't anything wrong with this CD player. Issue the return issue the return label he sends it back to me okay get the cd player back like i said get the cd player back put a cd in plays just fine press the stop button the disc stops when i open the when i open the cd player disc stops completely fine and working cd player now here's the con of ebay the big con for me so like the DVD VCR, I was able to resell that item for the same amount. So I didn't really lose anything other than time, really. Okay, so not a huge deal. I didn't really think twice about it. The problem with this, D this CD player is now this CD player is no longer brand new. What makes this CD player a $100 CD player was because it was sealed in its plastic. It's untouched. It's brand new. Now it's not brand new anymore. It's pre-owned, right? They've taken it out of the package. So this went from a $100 CD player to about a $30 CD player. So $70 difference. So obviously I'm upset about this. And again, I'm a new seller. This is never really, this particular type of situation has never happened before. Where I got the item back, it was, nothing was wrong with it, but I couldn't resell it for what I originally sold it for. So right now I'm out $70 at minimum. So I call eBay to see, you know, what I can do about this. And this is where I feel helpless when it comes to eBay. Basically, they said, you know, if he claims it doesn't work, even though it's working, you have to issue the refund. You, you have to, okay? There's no other way around it. And that I should be happy. Their words. I should be happy because I got the CD player back in one piece and I'm going to be able to resell it. So I said, okay, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to resell it for what I initially sold it for. It's not a $100 CD player anymore. It's now a $30 CD player. So I'm losing $70. Yes, we understand that. But you should be happy that you got it back in one piece. And that was basically how that ended. I mean, that was the end of the story. No matter what I said, <clears throat> no matter what I did, no matter what I said, no matter my top rated seller status here on eBay that they can see all the numbers behind my store it does not matter it does not matter if somebody says that the item is broken there's really no way to like protect yourself as a seller absolutely no way so here herein lies the problem okay is the things that that eBay has told me is why I why I feel helpless as a seller is a like i said they told me i should be happy to return the money because i got the item back that was one of the things they've told me before they've told me that basically it's like a lesson learned like i've learned a lesson so this this other situations that have happened and i'll and i'll tell you the specific situation when they told me that was i sold some um computer ink that was brand new still sealed the customer bought the the computer ink they then they opened it but they didn't use it they bought a new printer so they sent me a message said hey I bought this printer ink from you it was $60 I no longer need it because I got a new printer can I return it and then you know so of course I was like well now it's no longer brand new printer ink because you've opened it so now it went from being $60 printer ink to $10 printer ink call eBay the guy basically says 
Well, in your listing, it doesn't say that they can't return it if they've already opened it. He said, you need to put something in your listing when you have brand new items like this, where it says, if it's been opened, you can't return it. Now you might be thinking, well, you probably had that on your CD player, right? I did. Here's the catch. If they say it's broken, there is absolutely no situation where you can't return the item, right? They can return it no matter what. No matter what it says in your listing, if it's brand new, they've opened it and it's broken, they can return it. That's just the way it is. So the only thing that this guy, you know, told me to put this, you know, put in there that they can't return it if it's been opened. The only time this helps me is if the if the customer is honest and says, hey, I bought this, I've opened it, but I just don't want it anymore. I don't, I didn't really have the money to spend on it. I bought a new printer, so I don't need it anymore. Then because I have this on my listing, I can then fight and say, hey, they've opened it. It says on my listing, they've, they can't return it. There's nothing wrong with it. They just don't want it anymore. And that's basically what the guy told me would be the only way to stop this kind of thing. So he basically said, chalk this up as a lesson learned. So I've, I've had that told me. You lost money, but this is a lesson learned. So what kind of, you know, what, what are we teaching buyers on eBay? If you're honest, if you're honest, you get penalized. So because that lady told me, I opened the printer ink, I got a new printer, I don't want it anymore. If I would have had in that listing, you can't return it because she's opened it, I could, I could fight that return and possibly get it and not return because she was honest. But if she would have said, I opened the printer ink and it was busted inside, where she just took, you know, busted one of it, you know, just because she didn't want it anymore. And she knew that if she's, if she's honest and says that she just doesn't need it anymore, that she won't get to return it. But if she breaks it, she will automatically get returned on it, right? So we are teaching buyers to be dishonest, okay? If you're dishonest, you say the item is broken, you will get a return 100% of the time. If you're honest, then as a seller, I can penalize you for being honest and not take the return. And that I would rather, I would rather return it to the person who's being honest, obviously. I don't want to punish somebody for being honest with me. So that's it for me. That's a huge con is the returns. And, you know, it's, it's basically going back to the pro. It's fun to sell stuff, sell stuff on eBay. But then again, it's not fun to sell stuff on eBay because you can make this big sale, but then you have to worry and hope that the person doesn't get buyer's remorse, basically. You know, obviously you, you hope that the item gets to, to them in one piece, but if it does, then you have to hope that they like it enough to keep it. That's the big, that's the big thing. If they open this CD player, he could have opened this and was like, oh, this isn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. This wasn't as cool as it was, you know, 20 years ago when I had one of these. I'm not going to use this as much as I thought. Maybe he used it one time, right? Well, I just need it for one time. Then I'll just return it, get my $100 back. Whatever it may be, you know, that's it's kind of taking the fun out of selling stuff. So when I sell something big, I, I honestly, I worry. I, I hope that the person gets it, that they like it enough to keep it because all they most of them know all they have to do if they open it it works just fine but they don't really think it's as cool as they thought it was or they don't want it anymore all they have to do is break it that's it end of story all they have to do is take a hammer smash that thing say hey man i got this it was broken so you know that that it's kind of like i said it's kind of taking the fun out of selling stuff to be honest you know um so I guess it's so easy. I mean, you know, for me as a person, the thing I hate more than people who abuse animals are people who scam other people. I hate that. I hate hackers. I hate scammers. You know, so I feel like, you know, it's it's really easy to scam people on eBay. It, it really is because of this. Say you had an item. Say you had this CD player. Okay, you have this CD player. It's broken. Okay. Say the disc does just keep spinning, okay? So what do you do? You go on eBay, you don't wanna buy a new one, okay? You just want it to work, you want a new one, right? For free. Here's the scam. So you go on eBay, okay? 
You go on eBay, you find one brand new, okay? Because obviously you don't want a pre-owned one, you just want a brand new one, right? So you go on, you buy this CD player brand new. It gets to your house, you open it up, you test it out, it's, it works great, it's awesome. Well, you still have your broken one here, so what do you do with it? You contact the buyer and say, hey, this thing was broken when I got it. You put your old, your broken old CD player in the thing, you send it back to the, the seller, claiming it's broken. Now you have a perfectly good working CD player, and then the and then the seller is just left with the aftermath of a broken CD player, out a bunch of money, and that's it. <clears throat> if you don't think that happens, you're very naive, because that that happens every day on eBay. And it's gonna happen if you're if you're a full time seller and you're selling and you know even if you're not selling a bunch, it's gonna happen to you. It just is. You know, people try scams every single day on eBay. People scam every single day on eBay. And you might be thinking, well, wouldn't they just shut down that person's account? Yes, absolutely. If they get enough complaints that they're chronically returning stuff, yep, they can absolutely shut down that account. What does the person do? They go and make another account. That's it. As a buyer, you don't have to have feedback to buy stuff. You just buy it, right? So they just go make another account with a different email, start buying again, start scamming again. So it's very, very easy, in my opinion, to, to scam on eBay, and that, that's a huge con. I don't know how the eBay would fix it, but I know that's a huge con. And then I guess the 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 worst thing about all this is the, in my opinion, I guess the second con, the 1A, would be the feedback system itself. So we, as sellers, were kind of, you know, they eBay and the buyer dangles the, the feedback carrot above us. You know what I mean? There's We're always, you know, we're trying to avoid that negative feedback. So if we fight, if we fight a return, you know, it, you know, you just, you, you can't, you basically, if someone wants a return, you, you just have to honor it because the worst thing they can do, A, they're going to get their return. And if they don't feel like they got their return quick enough, or you wanted to argue with them about it, what do they do? They just go and put a negative feedback say, hey, I ordered this CD player, it was broken. This guy wouldn't even return, you know, this guy didn't even want to return my money. Buyers beware. That's going to be a red mark on your account that you can't get off. You can't. You know, no matter what eBay rep tells you, unless the eBay rep told me, this was another thing they told me the other day when I called, the only way they would really remove negative feedback is if it has profanity in it. Because the negative feedback is is the buyer's opinion of the transaction, okay? Of what, how they felt their transaction went, okay? So even if they're scamming you, even if you don't, you know, you're trying to fight this because the CD player works just fine. If I don't refund this guy his money, all he has to do, A, eBay forces you to refund the money, and B, he'll just put a negative fe feedback. So you kind of have to, because I don't want negative feedback. I want mine to say 100%, right? I want my feedback to be 100%. Because you get too many negative feedbacks, it starts affecting your sales, right? It, it just does. People want to click on your, your feedback score now and find out why you only have 90% feedback. Why does this guy not have 100%? Why does this guy only have 95%? And then and they start seeing things like, broken CD player, this guy sold me, he didn't even want to refund my money. That's not the case at all. That's not how the story is, but to some other buyer who has no idea of the situation, that's what they read, that's what they see, and they go, well, listen, you know, this, maybe I don't want to buy from this guy. It feels like if it, the thing's broken, he might not refund my money, you know. So I feel like this whole ne like feedback system, the negative feedback system, is is you know it. I guess I don't know what other, what other way they, eBay would do it, but it's it's very. It, as a seller, it makes you feel helpless. That, that makes me feel helpless. Okay. So again, these are just the situations that I've I've encountered in my four months and how I personally feel. You may have. If you're a, a experienced seller, you may have a completely different experience. If you start selling, you may have a completely different experience from me. So these are just my opinions and what I feel has happened to me in the four months. Now, with all that being said, I, I love selling on eBay. I'm not going to stop selling on eBay. Like I said, the pros outweigh the cons. You know, the con, the pros outweigh the con. Because really, I think my return rate is like 2% or like 1.9%. And I sell a lot of electronics. So that's a very, that's again, that's another category that's, you know, you're at, you're at a, 
a disadvantage because you could get higher returns on electronics and stuff. And I know this. So it's very volatile kind of category to sell it. And I understand this, but I still only have like under a 2% return rate. So, you know, 2% of the time, you know, and even less than that, because of the 2% of the returns, most of them have been legitimate returns, you know, really there's only been one non-legitimate return. So there's a lot more good going on on eBay than bad. I will say that there are a lot more great sales things go off without a hitch you get positive feedback you make your money the, the customer gets what they want everyone's happy that happens 99% of the time right but it's that 1% of the time that for me it just it hurts to be honest and like I said you know it, it just I don't know it, it for a few days I usually have I just think about it a lot you know what I mean and, and it's been to, it's gotten to the point now I've thought about it so much and I talked to my wife about this stuff she's not a reseller you know she she's a nurse so you know she can kind of sympathize but the reason I want to make this video was because I want to hear from you guys I want to know in the comments what your thoughts are what are your guys's pros what are your guys's cons what do you think about my pros and cons again these are just my opinions of the way I feel of things that have happened to me what eBay rep has said to me, you know, you know, these are just from my perspective, but I feel like eBay really isn't on the side of the seller at all. Like there's never really going to be many situations where I feel like eBay has my back, you know, <clears throat> it should just be like a no brainer that if I'm somebody who's a top rated seller on your site and I have X amount of feedback and all these things have happened, I've sold so much and somebody with zero feedback says, Oh, this item was completely broken and I tell them hey it's not broken because I'm gonna repost this CD player that's how confident I am that this CD player is perfectly fine I'm, I've already tested it all I gotta do is take some pictures and I'm gonna repost it tonight you know that's how confident I am that I'm, I'm confident enough to send that to somebody else's house and that they will like that CD player right so if you tell eBay this it doesn't matter absolutely does not matter like the reputation you've built up as a seller does not matter to eBay. I really honestly feel helpless uh, when it comes to selling in that respect. But like I said, I'm absolutely going to continue to sell on eBay. 99% of the times, it, it goes great. And this is what my wife tells me a lot. You know, you gotta you gotta focus on the, the good. You gotta focus on the you gotta focus on the 99%. You can't get hung up on the 1%. And that's that's something else I'm learning, and eBay is going to teach me is not to get hung up. I guess that's a like like a life lesson. All these great things are going to happen, but in life, sometimes things are going to go bad. But you can't just focus on those bad things. You got to think about all the great things that are happening in life. You got to think about all the great things that are happening on eBay. Like I said, I'm the happiest I've ever been when it comes to working. I'm making the most money. I'm my own boss. I mean, there's so many pros. There's just one con, but I'm I'm trying to get past being hung up on that one con. All right, guys, I have rambled enough. <laughs> You've heard enough from me. Um, like I said, you know, if you're new to the channel, my name is Matt. I make all kinds of videos, uh, mostly like eBay, what's all on eBay, but I do uh, storage when I buy storage units and stuff. So um, if you haven't yet, uh, hit the like button, maybe subscribe if you like this kind of content. And uh, with that being said, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.